All right, everyone. Senate Democrats want women to be subject to the draft the same as men. While I appreciate the concept of equality, and I do understand how funny it is when women talk about wanting to be equal, but then, you know, they don't want to sign up for a draft, and it's, it's kind of hypocritical and amusing, I think that equality should be nobody should be subject to the draft, and that we should never have a drafted military. Look, if we had a properly run military, one that had, you know, the top brass actually gave a damn, and hadn't been purged in favor of wokeness, which Biden literally did, People would sign up for the military. I thought of it back in the day myself. I thought of signing up for the Coast Guard, actually, because I'm like, well, I'm a good swimmer. I like seafood. It'd be funny to be able to punch a narco or something like that, so maybe I'll sign up. I decided not to because I had to go off to a UVM and study plants and shit like that. Actually, back then, uh, when I was a little bit more fit, uh, I, I spent an entire summer swimming every single day. Actually, I had some musculature to me at that point. You know, I probably could have passed those courses fairly easily. Now, a little bit less so, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, I don't believe in drafting women, um, and I'll, I'll tell the reasons why. First, because I oppose the draft entirely. Again, I would prefer to simply remove it uh, out of existence. It's, it's an antiquated sort of mechanism. In the modern age of drone warfare and stuff like that, having mass manpower doesn't even really make sense for most purposes. What you really need to do is have a beefy militia of citizens that are well armed and they'll do it themselves. You don't need to pay taxpayer money for it, although a subsidy on ammo would be okay. And they can go train and stuff like that. They know how to shoot, you know, they're fit enough and ta-da, you know, nobody's gonna fuck with you because you can instantaneously drain that manpower resource if needed uh, in, in case of domestic attack. If the United States is attacked domestically, then drafting people up makes sense. Having a draft when we're not physically at war with anyone, at least on our own territory, makes no sense. Uh, drafting women makes even less, though, because women, uh, the war is the provenance of men. Um, j just to say, you know, this may sound sexist to some people, war is meant to be men killing each other. It's not meant to be women killing people. Women are supposed to be safeguarded. It'd be like having child soldiers. Why don't we draft the kids? What would the difference be? The whole point <clears throat> is that you, you protect the next generation and the people capable of making the next generation. That's, that's the whole point within an organized system. It makes no sense to take people who can create more manpower and send them to the front lines. That's, that makes no sense. Now, I realize that some people out there will argue, well, but sticks, uh, they're not creating the next generation. You know, the birth rates are falling off a cliff. Well, then fuck more. Um, have more sex. Why don't we restructure society so that people actually want to have kids because they actually have some optimism about the future? That's not the problem. Uh, that, that, that's not just women's fault. It takes two to tango. And the fact that some dudes can't get laid... I'm real sorry for you, bro. You know, sex is pretty fun. You can always beat off if you need to. But uh, that doesn't mean that it's, it's the woman's fault, necessarily. I don't know. Call me antiquated, outdated, and, you know, up in the clouds or something like that. But I believe in some degree of chivalry within society. Also, women are worse on the battlefield. Women are generally smaller. They are generally physically not as strong. They are generally not as agile. That's just the truth. Men are better at killing. Uh, we sort of evolved that way. There's a reason why men tend to have more musculature. We tend to be bigger. <clears throat> we were the ones that went out and hit the mammoth over the head or threw the rocks at the saber-toothed tiger and shit like that. We've been doing that for a very long time. Men are drafted into militaries preferentially because they are larger physically on aggregate. I, I realize that there are some women out there that look like goddamn six-foot-four Amazons. Um, here in the Netherlands, you'll see women that are, that are way more, that they're taller than me, uh, sometimes quite mus muscul uh, muscular, and uh, they do exist, but that's an outlier. And that's, it's sort of like saying, well, there's some men that are five foot nothing and really scrawny and, and you know, they couldn't fight. Well, yeah, true, but that's an outlier. Most men are going to be within that range. Men also psychologically can more easily take it. Also, war rape is a thing. Just saying, if you send females to the front lines and the enemy captures them, you've got an additional problem. Then you end up with a bunch of war rape babies and stuff. I hope that they uh, come from a state that allows abortion. Uh, you're going to end up with so many problems drafting females in the front lines. Most civilized nations 
only do that if they've exhausted most of their available manpower. So they've gotten to the point where old men and people who are 15 and females have to fight because, you know, a lot of the fighting age men have already been killed or a 4F or something like that. No, I don't believe in drafting the women. I don't believe in drafting anyone. Fuck war. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Who's going to attack us? What's the fucking point? There is none. Nobody is going to invade the United States as long as we have a militia. Now, thanks to SCOTUS, of course, they're trying to uh, deprive people of that capability. Now, uh, we've got, uh, you've got over 100 million uh, adults uh, that, can, that wield firearms. Yeah, somebody, somebody's really going to invade. There's somebody with the manpower to overrun that militia. Be real easy. I love it when people fantasize about the U.S. military overrunning the militia. Yeah, g good luck with that. It'll work so well. That's all we need. Why don't you just give these women guns? Subsidize them to get their uh, 45s and their 9s and stuff like that and call it a day. Women can be very good at sharp, uh, sharpshooting. <laughs> There's no problem there. Uh, but that doesn't require you to be able to carry 100 pounds on your back and, and a set of body armor and shit like that or to drive a tank. No, men, are, uh, men should be the ones that are doing the fighting and killing. We, we've had, uh, like, uh, discussions <clears throat> anthropology and stuff like that over the years. Some third world country begins arming up a bunch of women. They have, like, some uh, female mujahideen sect or something like that. And we consider it barbaric. We say, well, that's wrong. You know, why are you making the women fight? Why don't, you, why don't you be brave and do it yourself? Why are you having 10-year-olds with AK-47s kill your enemies? Why can't the men do the fighting? Are you that retarded? Uh, now we're being retarded as a society. By considering drafting women, we're being retarded. Women shouldn't even be in combat roles. As far as, the, oh, well, the, the both genders, or, or all 48 or however many genders are, are equal. They can do the same thing. No, they can't. A man, for example, can't create more manpower for you. He can help, but he can't get pregnant. That's just the long and short of it. His value in that sense is fucking zero. All he has to do is stick his cock inside of a hole. That's all he has to do. He doesn't have to bear that child or anything like that, or worry once he's off to war. He doesn't have to worry about child rearing and stuff like that. Men's role, therefore, is more on the we kill you side. Women's role is more on, hey, medicine and communications, non-combat roles, that's perfectly fine. No offense, women, but most of you couldn't fight me. And I'm not exactly the strongest man in the world, for example. Uh, uh, that's fine, but the, the main role is, hey, uh, you sort of run out of manpower if nobody's having kids. Yeah, your nation uh, is falling off the uh, edge of a cliff because all your women have been drafted. I mean, they're getting pregnant. That's fine, but they're getting pregnant with rape babies, you know, from the enemy soldiers capturing them and, and, and gang raping them and stuff like that. It's not something pretty. Like, would I want my daughter serving in combat? Absolutely fucking not. If I had a son, I wouldn't want him serving in combat either, but if he signed up, I'd say, okay, you know, I'm... Proud of you, I guess, you know, to serve your country. But if it was my daughter, I'd flip my lid and be like, what the fuck? That's about all. Peace out.